Top of the fifth inning, Spencer Jondro starts it off for Fort Collins. His Bandits leading 316 Elite 7 0. New pitcher out there for the 316 Elite delivers a strike. It's nothing and one. And that new pitcher is Jack Ebright, who's from Wichita, just a sophomore at Bishop Carroll High School. A swing and a miss. And the count is nothing and two. Again, Bishop Carroll, a Catholic school here in Wichita. And Jack Ebright, just a sophomore. Young players on this Colorado team, too, this Fort Collins Colorado team. This one sent foul down the left side. No balls and two strikes. Jack Ebright, 6'1", only 145 pounds. Just 17 years old. He turned that on April the 30th. Little blooper out towards second, fielded on a hop by Hammond, and he'll throw to first. And John Drew. For a lot of founds around here, not just the Kansas Stars, as there's a swing and a miss to Garrett Hammer, nothing and one. Not just the Kansas Stars, the team of former major leaguers, but also a number of area teams that will be competing. No balls in a strike. The pitch down low, one and one. Such as the Derby Twins, who haven't been here in a few years. Derby will be back in the championship week of the NBC World Series. This will be their 12th appearance of the season. 13th, excuse me. This one sent foul down the right side. And Derby had a second place finish at one point in this NBC World Series. The last time they were here, they finished 10th, and their overall record is 32 and 24. They have been to, played in 56 games in the World Series. Pitch chopped over toward first. Pittman, nice play to his right. He'll chase it down, and then the pitcher never won one. Their best finish is second, five times. And they have played 90 games total in the NBC World Series. Dakota Popham, first pitch a strike, nothing in one. And the 0-1 in there for a strike. The Wellington Heat will be here. That's a town, Wellington. A short drive to the south of Wichita. The Heat will be making their 14th appear or 15th appearance in the World Series. So there's another one that fans can get excited about seeing. And it looks like we've got a good chance that the Great Bend Batcats could be here. A first-year team that's playing in pool play and... Great Bend is off to a 2-0 start. They'll try to get to 3-0 tomorrow. And the Mulvane Patriots, who won earlier tonight, are already at 3-0. They've got a chance to play in the second week. That's another first-year school or a first-year team. Swing and a miss for Dakota Popham. And how about the job by Ebright? He retires the side for the first time in order. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Fort Collins 7, 3-1-6, elite nothing. 